500 still quite a popular little unit had mine a few years now like many people I have the same problem this little column is quite sensitive to temperature change and to compensate for any fluctuation you need to use your valve on your water flow now the other big problem this is quite sensitive and as soon as Anyone in your house decides to turn on a washing machine, dishwasher, flush the toilet, take a shower. And if you're unfortunate like me and you have two other houses connected to the same water supply, anyone else this is does anything screws up your day. Um, Still Spirits came up with a solution to that problem with a sort of medium sized jug with uh, one of these moulded into the lid. Connect the other end to your tap and uh, problem solved you've got a little water tank there submersible pump only problem I found with it is um, it's about 80 pounds over here which is about hundred dollars I guess but it's expensive for what it is and I'm a tight ass get it the best of times so I wanted to retain that little valve because obviously you're gonna have to buy something to replace it so that normally fits on your domestic kitchen tap so I am, um, like many other people, came up with my own system. This is a little one gallon fermenting bin. It's got a clip down lid so it can't lift up when this is filled with water. Uh, there's the original adapter that you would fit to your tap in your sink. And your valve would normally go on there and you'd pump that straight to your column to cool. What I've done is just bought an ordinary Try and get this off one handed without breaking the plastic crap tap. Little um, hose pipe connector, it's got double thread for internal external, it fits in place of your water valve regulator. This is a regular looking hose pipe, but it's got a smaller bore on it. Reason being that I use an RO ball valve they only come in quite a small thread quarter inch pipe so I had to get an adapter to take this up to this is um, over in the UK we use these for beer line this grey fitting it's a 3 8 bore pipe it's a solid plastic piece with a hose barb on it so basically that just then converts this little it's a bit of Humbrew pipe goes into there and we're using the reducer down into a little ball float valve sort of thing you see in the steel spirits unit or um, smaller version of the one you might have in your toilet system and the other side I've got a 12 volt low volt submersible pump the biggest problem I had designing or coming up with this system was actually finding a pump that was man enough to lift the water up this tube which isn't great but um, it's got to get up there and the first couple of attempts I had a pump, just one of those little sort of small um, ornamental, you know, feng shui type feature things. And water got to about there and then I changed it and water got to about there and it wasn't bad enough to push. Even though sort of some of them claimed three metre head of water. Obviously you could get around that by dropping the still down lower. But um, I don't want it down there, I want it there because it's handy to drain straight into the sink. So we come up with this one, which might help if I tell you what the spec is. So this is a 19 watt, 800 litres an hour, and it claims to be able to lift water 5 metres. Don't know whether it would, but it does do the job. And um, if I turn it on now, the water will squirt all over the place, so we won't. But... Um, that's the my way around the system. I will put a little, not a parts list, because obviously if I tell you oh, this bit's on eBay and this bit's AliExpress, Amazon, they're not going to be there the time you watch this video. So I'll just put pictures so you know what to search for. And a list in the description. Obviously you could vary this by just using hose unions. But you need some way of controlling the water going in the tank. And obviously turning off. I've designed this with the recessed lid. Um, I haven't done a fixed fit in here because obviously any water leaks out of any of these threads 
it can run back down in the holes and stay in there instead of going anywhere else because today I want to sort of you're going to tie up several hours doing this running a uh, batch through the still I want to have a clean up in the brewery because it's a bit of a mess and there's junk everywhere so I want to stick the water controller there have the still where it is and that gives me the sink free and I can obviously not worry about turning the taps on for cleaning stuff because that will keep the water flow at constant pressure so uh, we should alleviate any of the old problems okay well that's my take on it anyway hopefully it will give you some ideas and help you and today's wash will be sponsored by Harvest Pale Ale yes you can put this old beer in your still and turn it into something a little bit clearer and a little bit stronger now it's running so not too noisy considering it's sort of got the drumming effect on the uh, sink there the other problem you get with these is as you can see if it's picking up on the camera you get a lot of air at the end there where the temperature probe is because it's drawing air in and if I put my finger over it stops you get a nice even water flow it's going to cause a very slight inaccuracy because you're going to have air dancing around here with water which is going to affect the accuracy of the temperature probe not a huge amount probably not going to make much difference at all but you need to put something around that to stop it now you can use a little bit of flour and water paste mix um, I'm going to try a bit of PTFE tape so I'll let you know how we get on Another top tip is keep yourself a pack of spare batteries because you can guarantee this is going to ruin your day when the battery's flat. Now I also never keep the battery in. I don't steal very regularly but um, I do find the batteries do discharge even if you've got it switched off. And as you can might see we're a little bit humid in here today so it might be a bit foggy in the camera but uh, we've got a bit of corrosion on the battery you certainly don't want that destroying the contacts in the thermometer but time um, fresh battery solved that problem and as you can see a bit of tape packed around the probe has stopped that sucking of air so another result there now we just gotta wait an hour to get up the temperature now a few caveats because there's going to be people saying you can't use beer the hops in the no look don't use really strong hoppy IPAs go for a pale ale an old beer these are 2015 any hoppiness they had has long since gone they will basically just be um, a bit naff a bit oxidized and probably very malty it's not the first time I've done it and used old beer. Um, just stay clear of really hoppy beers, really yeasty beers like German Weiss beer or French Belgian Saison, stuff like that. Stuff with a strong flavour or a big profile, stay clear of. But ordinary, this is basically the same thing they use for whiskey. They make beer but they don't add hops. And uh, when it comes to the end of fermentation it's carbonated and served as beer but in whiskey they just distill it so we'll uh, run it through the column I have got the uh, it's buried in the back there somewhere the little copper top I don't normally bother with that certainly not for this because obviously we don't want the flavours being carried over but uh, yeah we'll see how we go well, we got some off, not a huge amount, I wasn't expecting a lot. 4.5% beer going in, 20 litres. I think the calculator says around about 900 mil. I discarded at least 100, just a little bit over that, um, which was the sort of dirty, smelly stuff. I did make a schoolboy error because I haven't used a still a long while. 
first bit was cloudy which was part of the stuff I discarded because I have not cleaned I did flush this through with citric acid last night and then rinse it but obviously it's a little bit pulled through um, but as you can see the spirit's clear it's given me my normal 92% just about played out with blocking off the air sucking in I've been pulling the spirit through around about the mid 40s it's only just now I've started to crank it up just to ring out the last little bit and uh, call it quits for the night so yeah, doesn't give me a lot normally I use a higher ABV beer but you know it is what it is when it's free and you can use it well we use it obviously I'm gonna not turn that into uh, Bacardi or something like that, white rum, uh, vodka, it's going to have a little bit, I'm going to run it through the filter mainly because there was a little bit of dust in the jugs which is now, you know, the fine particles are floating around in the in the spirit so I will run it through a filter just to clean it up in a physical rather than uh, a taste. There is some flavour to it but not a huge amount, I will Probably I find this sort of spiced rums or a fairly uh, strong gin or a smoky whiskey flavour. Um, still spirits or a little prestige, something like that. Um, still yet to get hold of some oak so that I can age it on oak. But um, another experiment for another day. Right, well, you know, a few, uh, few more tops for the old uh, bar. And this looks about like I'm ringing the dried rag at the minute, so uh, I think I'm going to call it quits for today and see what uh, happens tomorrow. See if we get time to do another one. <laughs>